Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. There is a very significant and potentially disabling side effect that has been talked about for some time, at least a couple of years. I've heard lots of stories, many doctors I know have reported this occurring in certain people, and last year the story got a little bit of traction. It then suddenly disappeared and has now reappeared again out of the blue. Isn't that interesting? Tinnitus is ringing in the ears, and it can be disabling. It can actually make life a complete misery for sufferers of this condition. So let me share with you the details of this particular story and side effect. So last year it was reported in a medical publication, actually a couple of medical publications, but I'll share this one with you here. Jab researcher who developed tinnitus after the jab calls for further study. I've shared the link with you down below to this particular story. So this story disappeared from view. I guess the establishment, the mainstream media, decided that it wasn't worthy of any further attention. So boom, it disappears. But now, boom, over the last few days, it has reappeared again across several big media publications. Take a look at these. So here we have NBC News. Possible links between these shots and tinnitus emerge. Then we have Forbes. Reports of tinnitus after the jabs. More studies needed to determine link. Here's USA Today weighing in. Are your ears ringing? Experts are studying whether it's linked to the jab. And here we have Fox News. Thousands report ringing in ears after receiving the jab. And how about here? We have a British publication. Jabs could have links with causing tinnitus as new theories emerge. So there you have it then. The story was buried for a year and suddenly reappears across the mainstream media. Exactly the same narrative. Wherever you look, the same talking points. And this gets to a wider point here, which is the subject of this video. How our system works, how the establishment works, how the mainstream media works. Remember, the establishment controls the mainstream media. Now I know establishments across the world, many of you watch my videos from different countries, the establishments across the world all have their own issues of corruption, of different agendas, of conflicts of interest. But the United States establishment has got to the point, in fact it's been like this for a while, where it's truly comical for those of us who can see it. How does the mainstream media in a supposedly free country all say exactly the same thing at exactly the same time? Somebody explain to me how that happens in a free country. Now again, establishments across the Western world all have their own issues. I follow the news on both sides of the Atlantic, the United Kingdom where I'm from, and the United States where I live. And I will say this, the British press, of course they are far from perfect, but they do tend to have more freedom than the US mainstream press and they ask more challenging questions and we've seen that recently with various stories regarding side effects and adverse events. The United States mainstream media is completely and utterly loyal to its master, the establishment, the people who are funding them. And I really don't know how more people don't ask questions. I know most of you who follow my videos here are awake to the ways of the world. You are wise to the corruption all around us. But how can people on a daily basis just simply swallow what is told to them by the mainstream media who are clearly coordinated, they say exactly the same thing, but only when the time is right, when their masters decide that it is time to disseminate a story, will millions and millions of people who rely on the mainstream media then hear that story. It will only occur when they say so. And you better not ask any questions whatsoever. That is not allowed. They really do think that we are so stupid and gullible, don't they? They think that we just listen to whatever they say and will not ask any questions whatsoever or be thinking that something is not quite right here because the natural next question is, if they decide a story like this is suddenly worthy of attention. Having been talked about for so long, as I said, doctors have been talking about it, patients have been talking about it, it was talked about for a little bit last year and suddenly gets buried, then what else are they going to come up with next? but only when the time is right. And I leave you with this thought. The masses out there, most people, are focused entirely on the other puppets around them. What the puppets are doing, what the puppets are saying. But those of us who are wise to the ways of the world are looking up and we are looking at who is pulling the strings. There is always somebody 
pulling the strings. So stay wise, everyone. Stay empowered. Stay educated. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out my online academy and my uncensored platform. Those links are down below. Remember, as I just said, always stay awake. Stay as educated as you can for the health and well-being of yourself and your family. And remember that the entrenched power structures all around us, yes, including the medical establishment, have their own agendas. They have massive conflicts of interest. And frequently, out of all the things on their mind, your true health and well-being and the health and well-being of your family is not one of them. Thanks again. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. Have an amazing weekend, everyone, and we will chat again very soon.